What's up, Connor? Hi, I'm your host, Gio, and welcome to Cooking with Culinary, where today, Logan and Sierra will be showing us how to make bacon-wrapped jalapeno poppers, so stay tuned for this episode of Cooking with Culinary. So Logan, how do you, how do you, how do we start making these jalapeno poppers? And how would you say how difficult it would be? I'd say jalapeno poppers, the difficulty level is really easy. Like uh, pretty much any beginner could do this. So even I could make them? Exactly. Pretty much anybody. So what we would start doing is first we would get the jalapeno, we would cut it in half, or sometimes you cut in half, sometimes you just cut it open to get the seeds out. You get the seeds out. You could use a spoon or you could use your fingers or uh, pretty much anything like that. And then we already started making the cream cheese. So we're basically, it's just a jalapeno with cream cheese, chicken, cheese, and chives with and bacon wrap. We're yeah. wrapping it in bacon. So in this cream cheese mixture over here, we just have some um, minced garlic and salt and pepper in there. And then we're gonna add in the chives and the cheese to the mixture as well. That sounds delicious. It is. All right, so let's get started. You wanna start with the? Yeah, we can start with this. Do you wanna, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the chives and then some of the cheese. You want to mix it? Sure. Get in there. Don't hold back. <laughs> Can't hurt anything. <laughs> really? Just make sure it all gets mixed together. pretty good. Just gonna go ahead and scrape the bottom, make sure it's all mixed in properly. And then do you want to go ahead and start adding the chicken to the jalapenos? All right. Start filling them with the cream cheese mixture. Just add commentary. You see the way I'm like using the spoon to like smooth it out? You can see how awkward this is because I'm about to say. It's all good. You can make jokes if you need. Let's see. Do you want to wrap this in bacon? For this. Sure. Here's the bacon, and then just okay, okay, make sure just all the cream cheese is wrapped up good. Yeah. You know, the first time I tried bacon was actually a few months ago. Really? really? Yeah, it was actually really good. <laughs> I always didn't like bacon. And then I, and I tried it again. My dad uh, usually likes to make uh, hot dog wrapped bacons. Hot dog wrapped bacon? Or Bacon wrapped hot dogs? No, hot dogs wrapped in bacon. It's just like the yeah. jalapeno poppers, except yeah. with, you know, hot dog. <laughs> and since we took all the seeds out of the jalapenos, it's not going to be as spicy as compared to with all of the seeds. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to handle that at all. You don't like spice? No, I do not at all. Any, any time spicy food goes into my body, I just start dying. And make sure whenever you touch raw chicken that you always change your gloves afterward. You don't want to contaminate anything. These are all going to be um, cooked together so the chicken touching it is okay. But if you're changing to anything like any ready to eat foods, make sure that you wash your hands and change your gloves. Turn up this one. Yes. I feel as I started wrapping it without the cream cheese added. It's all good. Okay. 
Have you ever had a jalapeno popper before? Uh, no, actually. I'm excited to try these. Yeah, I used to have these all the time growing up. Have you ever made them, though? I have not. This is actually my first time. Oh, it's supposed to be really exciting for you, then. Yeah, especially with the chicken. Never mm -hmm. had it with the chicken before. Yeah, my dad usually makes them, but he puts them in the grill. Mm. To cook them. This sounds delicious. Would you like turkeys? Okay. Got that one. Gotta make sure I clean this after. Gonna be a pro chef after this show. Probably. Thank you. I think this is the last one. I swear these bacon strips are just falling apart in my hands. Yeah. If you want to. I gotcha. And then the chicken, we just have it seasoned with some salt and pepper for flavor before we put them into the jalapenos. We need to let these cook for a while. Make sure you stay tuned to see how to make these jalapeno poppers after this quick commercial break. Are you interested in being part of the CHS UIL math team? Come to room 1029 starting on Monday, October 24th, 2022 for an informal meeting. We will then meet weekly on Mondays in room 1029. Please plan to attend Carnot High School's newest dance, the Snowball on Saturday, December 3rd in the Porter Gym. This event will be limited to 500 guests, so make sure to get your tickets early. You can purchase tickets only via flyer around the school or on the TVs, or you can purchase them Monday through Thursday the week after Thanksgiving, during lunches with cash or credit card. Tickets will not be sold at the door and around $20 per guest. If you plan to bring a guest from another school, make sure to scan the QR code for the guest permission form and bring it by Monday, November 28th. There will be concessions available, a photo booth, and music by DJ Noro. Do you need something new and exciting in your life? Well, I have good news for you. The Crochet Club will be meeting Tuesday, November 29th in room 110 from 2.45 to 4 p.m. Anyone is welcome to come. Trials for Conroe Girls Soccer begins on Monday, November 20th and will go through Wednesday, November 30th. All, all players trying out must have physical on file with trainers and their rank one paper completed to try out. Tryouts will be held on turf from 2.35 to 4.30. Please contact Coach Stinson, Coach Gutierrez, or Coach Scott. If you have any questions, you can email or stop by the Coach Soccer Office. The Conroe Choir Winter Concert is this coming Tuesday, December 6th at 7 p.m. Come join us in the CHS Auditorium to support our choir program and get in the holiday spirit. We will have our next Spanish club meeting next Tuesday, December 6th at 3 p.m. in room 2025. Conroe Boys Soccer Trials will be held on November 28th, 29th, and 30th on the main campus. Auxiliary field from 3 to 5 p.m. You must have a physical on file and rank one sport online paper completed in order to participate. Please contact Coach Pister and Coach Modica or Coach Lambert if you have any questions. The University of Alabama at Birmingham is located in downtown Birmingham. The campus is unique because of its five major hospitals that are somewhat of our nation's best healthcare facilities that future medical students use as part of their studies. They also offer majors such as biomedical engineering, business entrepreneurship, criminal justice, biomedical sciences, digital forensics, industrial distribution, musical theater, along with five joint schools of medical program. The University of Alabama is also known for its Division I athletics and award-winning teams. If you are interested in a D1 school located in a large city, UAB may be the place for you. Welcome back, CHS. Now let's begin the taste test. Uh, who, what is his, 
who wants to go first? You can try it first, since you've never had one. Okay, I'll just take this. Just awkward, kind of, that. You want one? That's really good. Mm -hmm. That is really good. It's a little spicy. Mm -hmm. But that's to be expected Sorry. with jalapenos. Yeah, it's a lot better than I expected, actually. It is a lot better than I expected. The chicken adds a nice flavor to it. Adds a nice texture as well. A nice, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I've, me never having it with chicken before, it really. Yeah, it's definitely different. It, and then like the cream cheese is still there with the creaminess yeah, of it. Burning, yeah, it's spicy, right? <laughs> 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 Oh, your son, you lied to me when he said when they take out the seeds, it's gonna be. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> you alright? Well, that's it for this episode of Cooking with Culinary. Thank you for watching. If you want to try out this recipe for yourself, all the instructions will be in the description. Make sure to stay tuned with KTIG's YouTube channel for another episode of Cooking with Culinary coming soon. And don't forget, Sanchez, a great chef can come from anywhere.